Hi, and I'm Maxwell Vogue from Wobbleworks. We're the creators of the Three Doodler, the world's first 3D printing pen. And today we're here to talk about the Three Doodler Create Plus, which is now our fifth generation pen and one of the most effective and best that we've made to date. So actually originally we came up with this concept when we were making a robot dinosaur and our 3D printer made a mistake when it was printing and we had two pieces that weren't together and my business partner, Peter Dilworth, had the quick notion of why not just take the nozzle head off of the 3D printer and use it to weld the two pieces of plastic together and thus the three doodler was born. Uh, and since then we've been making pens and bringing them to market. With now over 1.5 million pens sold to date, we're really excited with the release of the Create Plus, the fifth generation pen. It's got a new dual drive mechanism that makes things a lot smoother and easier. It jams significantly less than previous versions of the pen. And overall, this is just a lot better uh, pen. So I'm actually gonna show it to you guys. So we have two speeds, fast and slow, and I've loaded some plastic in here, and I'm just gonna actually doodle my name. And so oftentimes, this is how I tell people to start with the three doodler, is to draw your name on a flat surface. And as you can see, I'm actually making contact with the surface that I'm drawing on because you generally don't want to draw in the air. If you draw in the air, you're just kind of floating above. You can draw up, but we'll get to that in a second. So it's hardened in seconds, and then I just whoop, bend this piece of plastic, our doodle pad here, get it up. So now I have my name, it's a physical piece, and I can make it stand up by simply adding some legs to it, like so. And because this material hardens so quickly, you're really able to make physical product and have fun with it. So you can see there's my name. Now, a lot of people really particularly love the fact that these pens can draw in the air. And uh, it is quite a lot of fun. I'm just gonna demonstrate really quickly. You wanna start from somewhere, then you can quite literally pick it up, and then you need to wait around three seconds for this material. This is uh, actually ABS that I'm using in this pen. But we also offer PLA and Flexi, which are just different plastics with different properties. But the advantage of the ABS is that it hardens in around two to three seconds. So it's a lot easier to do this kind of in the air drawing like the spiral. It does take a little practice, nothing's instantaneous. But as you can see, you can touch it right away. And this material has hardened to make a physical product. Now, everything around me that you see on this table has actually been doodled from my phone case, for example, my cute little sloth, using our flexible material. So you can actually remove the phone case, and it's a regular phone case. And I actually did this by drawing on a flat surface and then peeling the rectangle piece off of that surface and then doodling around the edges of the phone to create the edges of the phone case. We generally don't recommend that you doodle directly on the phone as the tip on this one is quite hot. That is the one thing you want to remember about the Create Plus, is this is more of a 14 plus item because of the temperature that's going on here. But we've made quite a lot of fun stuff we'd love to show off today. For example, this is my prosthetic hand. And as you can see, this is 100% doodled, and I'm actually able to have moving joints, all sorts of fun stuff. I'll pick up something here. <laughs> So this was doodled on flat segment pieces, actually, and then all the pieces are assembled together using the three doodler. That's how a lot of our more complicated looking stuff is actually made, is by putting pieces that are assembled flat on a sheet or on a stencil together. And we have kits to help you with all of this kind of stuff. So for example, this is our Farnsworth kit. It's how you make uh, the Farnsworth house. We have also this lovely candle, hold the Tiffany candle kit, um, decor, these flowers that you might see over here, they're made with our flower kit. And it comes with the stencil and it comes with all the plastics that you want to use to uh, get going. And you really do get quite a lovely output from them. As you can see, they're like glass flowers. So it's kind of the perfect gift to, you can make them once and then not have to worry about making them again for a special loved one. <laughs> you can really reuse them. And these are all available on Amazon as well. So quite a great selection. We also have, for example, this skull kit. So this is our canvas series. 
but these are items that you doodle on top of. So if you want to get started, if this is an example of a sugar skull that's been turned into a full-on um, full like human skull for educational purposes, but you could just as easily make something more specific for your needs. These also come with plastic and instructions on how to use them. You can also make, we also have like gnomes, for example. This is my business gnome. Uh, it's me having some fun. Um, as well as functional things. So we also have like that flexible material that I was talking about. This is my, my wallet. And the way you make this is you're simply doodling rectangles on a flat surface. This is actually one of the simplest projects that you can do because of that simple fact that you're doodling these rectangles and then you use the pen to assemble them all together. And doing this, you can make a wallet in around 30 to 45 minutes because, once again, you're just making rectangles, and using the pen to make the rectangles and to assemble those rectangles together, and you have a functional wallet. And this is my daily use, everyday wallet. I quite enjoy it. To speed it up, we do have some additional products in our universe. This is, for example, the nozzle set. So you can change the size and shape of the extrusion output it comes with a lovely little tool as well to remove the hot tip from the pen. You do want to make sure that when you're removing it, that the pen is on and is hot, because plastic does tend to get in there. Uh, and if you try to remove it without it being hot, it can be quite difficult to do that. But this is a great add-on. It really turns the pen into six different pens with each of the different nozzles, different shapes and sizes as well that allow you to do almost anything. Uh, and a lot of these products, as I said, all of these products are made with the pen. Some are made with the nozzle set. It helps to speed things up. It can also do like wider fill areas. For example, that wallet, I use the ribbon nozzle tip. If you're doing something, though, like this purse, which is a new kit that we're introducing, you simply are joining these pieces together. This whole purse was actually doodled. We doodled it flat once again, and then we used the pen to kind of fill in things almost like a crocheting or knitting set, um, and then the strap as well. And it's all completely doodled, and that's one of the advantages of the three doodler is that you can take a concept and bring it to life using one of these wonderful pens. We've now introduced a bunch of different colors specifically for Amazon, so you can only get the gray, or the black, green, pink, and the gray on Amazon. So they're an Amazon exclusive, and they're quite fun. And then, yeah, we also have, like I was saying before, the PLA plastics, because we have over 65 colors of plastic that are available. So this is just a sampling of it. And they range from those, the flexible material called Flexi, the PLA, which is polylactic acid or cornstarch, so it is a bit more environmentally friendly, and then the ABS, which is one of the world's most common plastics. It's particularly good for welding pieces together that are made of plastic, so if you want to use the three-doodler as a home tool, it's a great one. The PLA, though, has a wonderful ability to be baked. So this flower, for example, was made simply by doodling all the separate pieces, and then each separate piece was put into the oven on a tray, and that tray was left in the oven for about 10, 15 minutes. Uh, and then afterwards, it was taken out, and you got this really glossy look. You obviously want to pay attention to it. Don't leave it unattended. And then we took a hair dryer simply afterwards to heat it back up and then bend the material to give it that more flower-like look. So these were actually place settings for a friend's wedding. And we had the names at the bottom. We did around 50 of these. So if you're looking to do a DIY wedding, this is a great way of kind of achieving some of those more professional looking things without having to do a huge expense on it. So what else should we do? I can doodle some more to show you guys. Try I'll do a bridge really quickly to show you how we do some of our in the air doodling. So for a bridge, I usually start with two H's on the surface that I'm doodling on. Once again, I'm making contact with the surface as I'm doodling it. And now I'm going to draw up in the air. So I simply lift up, and I'm keeping a little tension on the pen, and I wait that one, two, three for the material to harden. I click the button again to go sideways. Once again, I wait that one, two, three. And then once the material is hardened, again, I can go down. And so now I have my first case on. If I do the same thing over here, I lift up. 
and I'm kind of just eyeballing the height, but now you could also do this flat, and if you're doing it flat, you can get much more accurate and precise shapes um, by just using a regular piece of paper. You don't need to use uh, the doodle pad, but it is a great little add-on. So I made a mistake, and it's really easy, easy to fix mistakes. I just used the tip of the pen to cut the pieces of plastic, and then I hold that plastic, and I can simply add on to it. So the material does adhere to itself, and then I count that one, two, three, and we have the other case on. So now I'm going to just add a roadway. And to do that, taking that tip once again, and it's really important that the tip makes contact with the item that you're doodling on. And now I'm just going to make a roadway. To do that, tip touches, tip touches, and then back down. And if I do the same thing on the other side, And I can always go back and fix things. So add a little more here. Voila. And this guy up here. Oop. And then if I want to just make the expand. So obviously this is a very quick and dirty bridge, so to speak. And if you were to be a little slower and a little more methodical, you can get a better one. So I'm actually now, I've run out of material. I take a new strand of material, simply stick it into the pen, start the pen up, make sure that it's inserted. You kind of feel a click as it goes in, and then voila. So as you can see, you can make these wonderful things in three dimensions, and it gives you like a full bridge. But uh, the more complicated stuff that you're seeing around here, like the guitar, for example, or the flower, these are often done in flat sectional pieces, just like that phone case that I was talking about earlier. I did this side facing down, and then as you can see, there's like a rougher texture on this side. That's the side that was facing up that I was doodling on. And then when I peeled it off of the smooth surface, I was specifically using a doodle pad. Um, I was then able to, like I said, simply doodle around the edges of the phone case to create the lip. And then that way you're not exposing the whole phone to the heat from this pen, as it is, as I said before, quite hot. But that heat has its advantages since we're able to doodle in the air with this pen more effectively. And I'm just going to... Pull that bridge away. And we have lots of uh, resources that are available as well. I just want to point out we do have a book, the Three Doodler book, which is a great kind of add-on if you're going to get the pen. It'll take you step-by-step step through from beginning to end projects as well as some other projects that people have done. In fact, we can even see how you can do like a 2D sketch and you can get quite a nice effect with the shadows. And you can work your way up to much more complicated. So for example, this is an alien action figure. And it takes you through how to even make the moving joints in the book. These projects are also available on our website for free. Uh, The3doodler.com has over 250 projects or stencils available that users can simply download their PDF files. You can print them out. You can doodle right on the paper and then join those pieces together and create almost anything. We have video files as well to take you through it. You know, something like this house, for example, once again, it was just flat sectional pieces, and then those pieces are joined together to create a whole bunch of wonderful stuff. I mean, to take it to the real extreme, we have this suit jacket that I made. So this suit jacket was made using our flexi material. All I did is I went to a tailor, actually. I bought a cut pattern. And I covered the cut pattern in masking tape, because I didn't want a shiny uh, jacket. And I doodled uh, about 14 hours. I was watching American Horror Story. 
kind of just binging. And then I was able to make this entire suit jacket uh, myself. So it's quite exciting. I actually made it for one of my designers. It does fit, but it's, it's not the perfect fit for me. But as you can see, it is a functional suit jacket. As well as this dress, this was actually done by a professional dressmaker. So that's why it looks very nice. Um, and I particularly find it fascinating how you can make these structures really stand out in three dimensions that you normally couldn't do if you were using traditional fabrics. Uh, and it's a lot easier than you would traditionally do with a fabric. We also have, obviously, the packs of plastic that I mentioned before. But for some of the more heavy users, we have tubes of plastic. So we have individual tubes that you can get with 100 strands of plastic. And these are a bit better price. It's uh, $24.95 on uh, Amazon.com, and we have them in solid colors only. But it's a great way if you're going through a lot of plastic, you want to do a really big project, you know, you want to get something going for uh, Comic-Con or for Halloween, you can really use the Three Doodler to bring your project to life. Um, using the Three Doodler to make almost anything, including articulated pieces. So we even have this lovely articulated hand where we actually made the ball joints. It's something we'll be releasing later in the fall is a ball joint kit. So you're able to make articulated figures easier than the one described in the book, which is quite nice. But this just makes life significantly easier. We have the nozzle set. We have stencils for like engines, for example. This is a six-cylinder engine that can actually, the pistons actually work when you rotate it. So it's quite a lot of fun. So once again, while it looks quite complicated, and you might think initially, I can't do that, you really can because these are all flat sectional pieces that are done on a flat piece of paper, peeled off the paper, and then joined together. And everything is made using the pens. So I like to say that this is a one student's six hour project, or this is eight students, or six students, one hour project. Because of the fact that it's sectional, you can easily have a group of people doing different pieces and then joining those pieces together as a group. So for example, if you were making wedding decorations like the, the orchid here, you, know, you could have a bunch of friends come over, get a couple pens, and then all together you're able to make all the pieces and then join them all together at a later period because everyone can just make a different piece and become an expert like making, for example, one piece. So yeah. Um, other fun things, we do have the doodle pad, which is available on Amazon, which is what I've been doodling on top of. So you really can doodle on almost anything. A piece of paper is, works perfectly fine. Uh, you do tend to take a little bit of the paper with it, which is why we have the doodle pad. One of the keys, though, to the doodle pad, of course, is that you need to bend the doodle pad to get the pieces off of it, like so. So we don't only have a few minutes left. I'm going to doodle us out with a quick goodbye. Once again, I'm just showing how you can doodle flat things and then join them together. Whoop. Whoop. Use that part of my Y. And then I'll just underline the whole thing. So please do check us out on the Amazon storefront and check out the whole product universe, really. There's quite a lot available to get people going and to help out. Don't forget our excellent customer service, which is available 24-7, 360 days. But whoop. So goodbye, and thank you very much for joining us.